Okay, we're back with more Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Again, I'm coming right off of Diddy Kong Racing, so... Bit of a tone whiplash. Nothing more than what we've experienced in the past. Nabel Verfer 41. Okay. Sounds good. Some peaceful war games get the heart rate down. I'm so impressed that like Oh, I have no I have no ammo. Shit. The craziest level in the game is like level three, and it's not like level one or the final level, right? Like not a great start. Probably should have some ammo next time. This thing has ammo, that's good. Probably need to die and start over. Like, I'm very pleased to keep playing here because I, I feel like the rest of the game is still quite good and the level design is still pretty impressive, but that Normandy Beach level was like unparalleled. It really blew my mind. I kind of like no aim down sights, to be honest. After experiencing the annoyance that is aim down sights in, uh... Just gonna blow up on its own? Yeah, okay. The aim annoyance of aim down sights in Resident Evil 4 Remake. To healing in there would be great to try to get it. Wait in there. Yes, okay. Big healing if I wanted it. No one else to shoot out there. Everybody? Assume you all want me to go through there at some point. Whoa! Like someone like right next to me? Sounded like it. It did do infinite enemy spawns in the Normandy levels, so I know that that's a thing that's possible to happen. Okay, get healing here. Try following my objective marker. See where it wants me to go, but how do I get over there, I wonder? I don't think I can cross the barbed wire. Can I go around the bunker? Yikes. Some good uh, scripted enemy spawns here. Oh, I think I walked on a mine. Okay, let's see if it saved it there. Probably not. Oh no, Jesus. Okay.
Get in there, grab all the healing, use the mounted gun, kill as many dudes as I can. I can't point this down, I guess that makes sense. Try to snipe as many of them as possible here, although I have a feeling some of them respawn. I think a guy just ends up manning that gun over and over. Let's see if that ends up holding true. I guess he's not getting remanned right now. Balls. I don't know who's shooting me from where. Okay, so I gotta deal with this. Turning this corner definitely spawns new assholes. Regular dude with a gun. Do I not get blown the fuck up by that thing? Just pray, I guess. I, think I needed a grenade there. Oh, okay, I think I'm gonna try to save once I get to that point. I could completely skip the initial. Thing here. This is a pretty tough stage, though, it seems like. I think I need the resources that are in here. to shoot because I already got them all. Okay, I got more healing. Get rid of jerkwad over there. And there's another jerkwad right there. And that guy's gonna replace that gun. Can it does it let me save here? Game saved at five. I don't want to over save scum, but like this should probably be a checkpoint. So somebody out there can hit me and I don't know where they are. Let's go for it. So there's some kind of trick to crossing this field without dying instantly. There's no like other cover for me to run to, which is part of the scary bit.
turn this corner and more guys kind of like magically show up. I love that sometimes guys look like they go down, but don't actually go down. It's very mean. Okay, I have no idea if it's possible for me to safely cover this field. It makes it seem like there's a mine right there. Maybe that's what's giving me trouble. I guess there might be. Some healing. guys back here. I love the way this game goes from like action hero to Normandy and then back to action hero. Like I assume that's totally intentional on the part of the devs to have that feel. I don't think I've encountered a video game that uses that intentionally where it goes from like hyper unrealistic video gamey to like realistic briefly and then goes back kaboom Quick save more. That is a minefield that was insta killing me. Okay. Couldn't tell if it was the minefield or if it was these these things shooting me. Hooray, first try. Good to see you're still with us, Lieutenant. The landings at Omaha, especially Doc Green and Charlie Sector, were very, very tough. We lost a lot of good men. While we've established a strong beachhead along the coast, finding out what the Germans are planning next is key to the success of our Normandy campaign. The French resistance has reported a shift of enemy troops south from the Calais region right into the path of our advancing troops. Two formidable German units are assembling just outside St. Lo. We believe they're using a manor house as a command post to organize a counteroffensive. We need you to find that command post, infiltrate it, and obtain any tactical data you can regarding the enemy's battle plans. One of our most trusted agents in the resistance, a young woman named Manon Baptiste, will be there to lend you a hand. One more thing, Lieutenant. Sounds good. Intelligence reports indicate that the Germans have deployed a new tank into the field, a type bigger than anything we've seen before. This model has been appropriately designated the King Tiger, and we believe the Germans have transferred some of these new tanks to the command post. Your order to gather information on the capabilities and hopefully the weaknesses of this new threat. Good luck, Lieutenant. I know the mission is in capable hands. Wow. 
Rendezvous with resistance, working alone. You said you have being out there on your own enemy territory. Okay, Manon Baptiste, got it. Reset my guns. for me right now. Sorry for shooting you in the face earlier. I'm lucky you came along. There's a monkey safe house right near here. It's over that way. Sounds good. I need healing. Oh, this level has natural... Uh, Save checkpoints, that's interesting. And health, good. You doing okay there, bud? Oh, shit. I didn't know I had any control over that. Damn. Yikes. He probably took damage when I was sh accidentally shooting him in the face earlier, so I might need to reload that. keep instinctively pressing R to reload this thing, but that's the whole deal with the M1. You can't, right? Gotta use the whole clip. He's the one someone was saying that the Germans were able to listen for the sound of the last shot and know when to fire or they would, like, count the shots. We're back here. Okay, well, where do you want me to go, dude? Oh, it was the Japanese? Okay. I'm trying. Shoot him. Fire. 
Don't die, please. Seriously, I'm constantly hitting R or the reload button. It's funny. Give me more guns in this level. Oh, I did get a new one just now. I had so many last level I had the sniper rifle. Get off that one. I didn't see when this dropped. I guess it'll only tell me I'm getting rounds for a gun if I have that gun, presumably. I'm trying, man. Another checkpoint. That's nice. Horrible track record with this thing, but you know. oh, game over. Those guys start coming up behind me as soon as I open the church door. You guys have health on you? out the windows. Wants me to go that way. I want to throw a grenade and accidentally kill him. Save first. Perfect. Calculated. Bye. Oh, not new game. I 
may have been optional. I guess he came in here, which is what was confusing. Seems like it's what means to do something in the church. Maki hideout. Underneath the altar or something. Now it's spinning, okay. Too much noise. Okay. Oh God. Any of you? Silence pistol. Get close and aim for the head. Shift to walk when you want to sneak up on enemies. It's cute. Actually, sneak on this level. They just gave me one of these. Tank to bomb. Exactly. I wish more stealth games actually work that way. Sniper rifle. Saw it that time. Or doggo. struggle with aiming the grenades in this. It's not where the radical is. That almost went really badly for me. Oh. 
There is no health in here. They want me in there. What do you want me to do in here? Yeah, right. Maybe it's like an absolute direction and actually go that way I just saw a second ago. back here. This looks promising. as far as I can tell. That's nice, you can shoot out the light. Oh god, okay. Yikes. supposed to be maybe this is where you actually need to stealth or you get like nuked by that guy shooting me there. There's a guy that just shows up on the gun and starts shooting like instantly, I think is what's happening.
like crazy DS era song that's playing. Where are we going? Might have actually been able to sneak there. You get to sneak on one guy and then other dudes run up. Oh, doggo! Yikes. Sorry, doggo. doing here y'all It's my favorite track in the game so far, I think. Switch the tracks. Above me, okay. Oh, is that truck from earlier?
Sweet. Trebian. Busy with the fence you left behind. Finish the mission. Area is well guarded. Winchester riot shotgun. Useful indoors. Find maps. You have to neutralize quite a large number of the enemy. Okay. I love when they take all my guns away. I never know what they want from me. Outside of like snipe guys that are far away. They tend to give me like three different guns that all do the same thing. I guess whichever one has the most ammo is the one I'll use. Now, once I pull up the bomb, you'll have to hop out and take cover before the inspectors arrive. Good luck, pal. I hope we meet again. Go now, quickly. Detected this phenomenon in uh, shooter games where it's like, and maybe this is actually true at very high level play, but they try to pitch different gun types almost like elemental damage, like, you know, fire, water, and grass damage or whatever. And it's like, well, I mean, all of these, you pointed at somebody, they die. So I don't think I've played too many games where I really feel like, okay, here's where I need to use a pistol as opposed to a shotgun. Kind of comes down to how much ammo do I have? Okay, buy that shotguns are really effective at close quarters in real life because of like all the shrapnel and stuff flying everywhere. But two weapon limits became popular. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess you could make a game where like pistol elemental damage was a literal thing and like the pistol did more damage against certain enemies and less against others, but to me that's the only way to simulate what I, it feels like they're always trying to go for. Oh jeez. Like here, I can tell that the range on the shotgun sucks, so I will switch off it, but... That just makes it feel like the this gun is strictly better. That is interesting. I didn't realize Halo popularized that.
Yeah, I feel like Halo also has like fantastical guns, like the Needler and stuff, right? That might have very specific use cases that like work in a video game. I guess they could do levels where it's like they give you two weapons and they'll, they really want you to use one weapon and the other one is like your backup if something goes wrong. Makes sense. I wonder if you played this game on like the highest difficulty, if you absolutely need to use shotguns indoors or if this thing is fine. Like, I don't know what you, how you would change the difficulty so that's true, right? versus medium versus far range yeah i guess i've i've definitely played shooter games where shotguns make sense like uh any game that has like hordes of enemies that like clump together like a zombie game right i'll very happily take a shotgun and shotguns i think actually do work super well in non first person shooters like in like your smash tv top down type games or something like uh enter the gungeon yeah Probably not even, like, calling it a flaw isn't even accurate. It's, just, it's like, every gun is fine, I guess is the problem. Yeah, I've definitely encountered it in a few games. But I think the way they pull that off is by having, like, insane non-realistic enemies that like rush you right like shotguns feel great if you have something that doesn't die when you shoot them but gets knocked back by getting shot it was pretty useful in uh that alien fire team elite game you get a xenomorph rushing at you and you can just like knock it on its feet for a second that's pretty helpful but I feel like an actual human soldier, you hit them hard enough with a shotgun to knock them on their feet. In a video game like this, they're probably just dead, right? The stopping power isn't really helping you. It's interesting because I feel like a lot of the time when you try to take something that works a certain way in real life and then build the video game to kind of mirror it as closely as possible, that, uh off that alarm wherever it is you get the desired outcome right like you can make a war game and it turns out that if you design your word game around choke points then the correct strategy around the choke points is actually pretty similar to what people use in real life and it just means infinite spawns until i turn the alarm off
I guess you could do it if you had like really limited ammo or something. I don't know what set the alarm off. Trying, yo. Yeah, if you have something like shields, that makes sense, I think. Mass Effect did gun elemental damage, basically, where they had, like, shields versus armor. Shields you could take out uh, with really fast-firing things. Armor kind of required slow-firing things like sniper rifles or shotguns. That's not like a real-world thing at all, right? It's totally video gaming. with that alarm on. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, to be honest. Right. I try to just chill and see if these guys stop coming after me eventually, if they're just like normal enemies from elsewhere in the stage, maybe. Nice, happy birthday. Yeah, you can feel it, but you can't articulate it, right? Okay, once their bodies start despawning, that makes me think there's an unlimited number of them. Is this thing like an alarm station? Is that what that's supposed to be? Oh. I think that's what they're getting at here. Toggle alarms on and off. Okay. Well, that's good. Steal the troop manifest, battle plans, gather intelligence on the tank. So does, like, Counter-Strike have a unique use case for every possible gun, or... Like I'm... The whole thing with Counter-Strike is you start out with a certain set of shit guns and then you like get money that you use to buy better ones, but I assume once you get the better ones, you just completely stop using pistols, for example. I really like the way they react to like grenades. Nazi art. Stolen art.
think I'm supposed to use. Wait. Oh, I don't have the shotgun anymore. Weird. I don't know what happened to it. This thing seems to work fine, so. Oh, we don't like that happening. Explosives acquired, okay. I'm not kidding about needing to kill a lot of dudes in this level. Okay, I think whatever I need is not in this house. Tried to trigger that alarm. That's one false communique. So I was meant to go in this house first. Switching off to the pistol just isn't worth it for the animation to swap, right? Because I don't have this gun out for the next guy. Dead, not just playing dead. Let's 
It's in this building somehow. That's a one-way door. Okay, where do you want me to go, game? In this building? It was pointing toward a door that was locked. It's like up there, maybe? Okay, how do I get there? It's like directly above it. Seems promising. I saw you. Check my corners better. Seal the battle plans. This is a hell of a mission. We're at time, but I'm gonna try to finish the level out here. Store still doesn't open, presumably. Okay. In the art room. No, it must be above me. Still above me? Gather any intelligence on the tank. Too bad once everyone is already dead. Killed all the Nazis already. Gets above me again. Or above me? I think there's a third floor. Where is it? This one's interesting. Oh, it's downstairs, okay. Some of the enemy behaviors in this are really impressive, especially for 2002. Escape and meet up with Manon.
dog on me? Jeez. Ouch. Can he see me and I can't see him? see that guy through the bushes. Dogs freak me out in this. guy is that's shooting me there. Hmm. You know when that dog spawns in. This is where a shotgun would be useful. Since the dog actually rushes you. Mart said you should be starting on a new level here, so don't yeah, stress too much. Let this play. Mission, Lieutenant. This information will be much appreciated by our units advancing through Normandy. Now for your next assignment. As we speak, three divisions from the US 7 Corps are closing in on the second largest port in France, the city of Brest. The German commander of this port has over 50,000 troops in the region as well as several heavy coastal defense batteries, which he's turned around to fire inland at our advancing troops. Command has put together a daring plan to improve the Allied chances of capturing Brest. By securing a key estuary crossing into the region, mm. we'll be able to move troops and armor in rapidly and apply more pressure to the besieged city. Time is of the essence. But we don't have enough armor in the area to punch through to the bridge, so we're going to liberate a King Tiger tank from the Germans. Thanks to the documents you acquired from the enemy command post, the OSS was able to quickly train a veteran American tank crew on how to operate this armored behemoth. Lieutenant behemoth. will be the men you lead on this mission. You'll meet them at a rally point on the outskirts of Landenau, a town about 25 kilometers northeast of Brest. Your assignment is a dangerous one. Capture a King Tiger, blast your way across enemy territory to the estuary, and hold the bridge until an Allied tank unit from the 6th Armored Division can reinforce your position. Makes sense. Fighter Command will be there to back you up, and will give you all the artillery support we can muster. But I have a feeling the success of this mission may ultimately rest on the actions of one man. 
Good luck. I don't believe it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Future Mars said you're at the start of a new mission. Watch the thing that just played. He's again, Mr. Failage for sharing this game. I really enjoy it. It's very solid. Like, it's, main, it's maintained its momentum, and it's been very good even after the Normandy mission, which was the mind-blowing one. <laughs> 